This is the Aries Crossing, the main checkpoint into Gaza. Uh, to get into the Gaza Strip, we believe that we're supposed to have some kind of permission, but we're just going to go up and, and hopefully uh, Aaron can convince them that we can make our way through the checkpoint. I was doing all the talking. I thought I was doing quite well. I was dealing with one captain in particular, and he seemed sympathetic. But after about an hour, he said, look, I'm afraid you haven't got the permission, you haven't got the right documents, we can't let you in. So I went and relayed this to Andrew, who said, don't worry, I've got a phone number. And he gave me a phone number for somebody who tries to help foreigners get through the border into Gaza. And I went outside and I quickly dialed it. I got talking to the person on the other end and I said, look, you need to help us. We're filmmakers from New Zealand. We're trying to sort of flag our way through the border, but we're dealing with some asshole soldiers who won't let us in. And the voice at the other end said, where are you from? I said, New Zealand. And then all I heard was hysterical laughter for about 30 seconds. Because it turned out the person I'd rang was the captain of the border guards who we'd been dealing with. And I walked in and he was still on the phone to me, waving at me and shaking his head. And then immediately told all of his colleagues who laughed at us and told us to go home. So now we are. <laughs> two weeks later, a 22-year-old mother of two approached the same checkpoint and, as she was being searched, she detonated the bomb she had strapped to herself, killing four people. <laughs> 